Hey, what? I'm not ready yet. Go away. I'm still making coffee. Go. <laughs> Hello, not ready yet. Keep, keep waiting. Perfect. What? Are you still watching me? Fine, start the show, I'll be ready. See, told you, I'm ready. How you doing, Jack Scalfani here, and you're cooking with Jack. And guess what? It's the vegetarian episode I promised you last week. That's right, we're doing a spicy two bean vegetarian chili. Whew, say that five times fast. It's gonna be delicious. Here's all your ingredients right here. Mmm, I haven't had coffee all day. I've been craving coffee all day, I don't know why. It's like 90 degrees outside and I'm drinking hot coffee. How crazy am I? All right, wait, um, I have issues. Hold on. I can't put my mug down where you can't see it. There. Sorry, Spice. There we go. You good? All right. As long as you can see Jack, it's all that matters. So let's talk about it. Two beans, it's gonna be black beans and kidney beans. Where's the heat coming from? Right there, jalapeno peppers. Got onions, bell pepper, and carrots. Um, some of you vegetarians might want to throw some tofu into this recipe. Some of you might want to put some uh, bulgur cracked wheat into this recipe. You might want to throw rice, some kind of a starch or whatever. I'm just making it straight out, okay? You can alter this. Change the vegetables, change the peppers. I don't care. But I'm going to give you the basic uh, gist of it. It's going to be delicious, okay? So let's get started. It is the spicy two bean vegetarian chili. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, now you don't have to write this down because remember, the recipe is going to be down in the description box, okay? So check the description box and this recipe will be waiting for you down there. From now on, we put all recipes in the description box. Okay, now we know the beans and we know the, the tomato, crushed tomatoes and the vegetables and the heat. The one thing that makes chili different, the magic's in the seasoning, okay? This recipe is asking for cumin, it's asking for coriander, it's asking for chili powder, and check this out, ground cinnamon. Yeah, that's surprising. Okay, let's talk about cleaning the vegetables first. Now, before the show, I already peeled the carrots, but always peel your carrots, you know, with a carrot peeler, and clip the ends. Take your peeler and just chop the ends off. Take the seeds out of the red bell pepper, just cut it in half, take that off, and wash all your, all your seeds out. You're also going to do the same thing with these. You're gonna cut off the end here, you're gonna slice it in half, take all the seeds out. If you don't take the seeds out, I gotta warn you, you're gonna burn your mouth. So get rid of the seeds. If you like it um, a little hotter, I would leave one of the seeds in on one of these peppers and clean the other two. And then the onion's easy. You're gonna take your onion, you're just gonna chop it up into small pieces. Okay, so I've cleaned all my vegetables, I've chopped them into large pieces. Now it's time to break out the product you guys always ask me to use. That's right. That bad boy right there. This is the original one I used. Gosh, how long ago was it? I don't even know. But I'm going to start using it on these, on these vegetables and see how we do here. That'll work. Let's see. Let's try those. That'll work. Piece of cake. How about some of those carrots? This is when I use it. Right here. Try this bell pepper here. Get in there, girl. Look at that. I'm gonna chop all this up and get it in this nice bowl here. Then we're gonna go to the next step. All right, there you go. That's what it looks like all chopped up together. This is all going in the pot together so you can put it in one bowl. Okay, you're gonna put a little bit of olive oil at the bottom of your pot. Any pot will do. You don't need a Dutch oven. There you go. You can let that heat up. We're gonna saute the vegetables in there first. Once you've heated up the oil, take all your vegetables, you're gonna saute them in there. I left some bigger than others. I don't like to keep all my pieces uniform. So what's gonna happen? It's all gonna soften up anyway, it's gonna be beautiful. 
Now remember, you're only going to saute for about eight minutes. So if you want to set a timer, you can. You want to do it by eye. It's all up to you, whatever makes you comfortable. Okay, it's been about eight minutes. And I got to tell you, you can't smell the carrots that much. But wow, those jalapenos and uh, the onions are battling it out. Totally, the whole kitchen is just filled with the sweetness of the onions and the potency of those jalapeno peppers. It's just, what a great smell. Here we go. Everything else is going in now, so hang on. We got a lot going in, just bear with me. You can either do five cloves of garlic, or you can just use wet garlic. You want two and a half teaspoons, which I like extra garlic, so I'm not really caring about my measurements. You're going to add the crushed tomatoes next. Now you see how there's stuff left in the can there? You see that? I don't like to waste that. I've got three cups of water going in here. So here's what I do. I pour a little bit in there. I swish it around to try and pick up some of that extra, extra tomato sauce. There you go. Just to capture the most I can. Maybe a little bit more. So we're putting in three cups of water and I'm using it to wash the inside of the can. Here come your black beans, already rinsed and drained. Okay. Kidney beans, rinsed and drained. And now it's time for spices. This is where the magic happens, right here. Two tablespoons of chili powder. Once again, I don't care if I get extra, so I'm going to measure over the pot. Don't, don't normally measure over the pot, but I want to show you what it looks like. Okay, two tablespoons. One. This is where you're getting some of your heat right there. Two. One and a half teaspoons of cumin. And do about half. One and a half teaspoons of ground coriander. And here's the interesting ingredient. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Kind of interesting. Make sure I got a level. There you go, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Never thought that was in chili. Okay, now here's the deal. I'm gonna mix it all up. We're gonna bring it to a boil. And we're going to cook for 20 minutes like this. Okay, you're gonna bring it to a boil. Then you're going to drop it down to like a medium heat, not a high heat. So once this thing starts boiling, we're going to drop the heat just a little bit. You're going to stir this often, okay? And this is about it, man. Look at that. Oh, wow. You almost want to taste it now, but we're not going to. Stir often. You're watching The Cooking with Jack Show. We'll be right back, right after this message. Hey, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here to tell you about my line of sauces. It's called the best barbecue sauce you'll ever taste. It's so good, we made a hot one. There it is. If that's not good enough, we made the best teriyaki sauce you'll ever taste. Bam! And to make it even better, we just released the best gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste. Go to thebestsauces.com, 100% guarantee. We do free shipping anywhere in the United States. Go to thebestsauces.com. I'll be there waiting for you. And now, back to the Cooking with Jack show. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Is that beautiful? Look at that. That's just gorgeous. Look how thick that is. That thing thickened up beautifully. Give me a spoon, please. Uh, look at that. Just gorgeous. All right, so here's the deal. This thing smells like it's spicy hot. I have no idea. And you can see the steam, so it's temperature hot, too. So if I jump up and down crying, just bear with me for a few minutes, okay? But this looks beautiful. Look at this. Gorgeous. All right. Let's give this a try. Oh, wait a minute. Let's do this first. Ready? Oh, yeah. There you go. Got to dip the bread first. Let's try that first. Bread and butter is like my favorite. Mmm. Oh. All right, there's some spicy heat in this. Hang on a minute. Quick 
great vegetarian dish. And the beautiful thing about vegetarian dishes, is everybody can make this and enjoy it. Mmm. Mmm. Temperature hot. Spicy hot. My eyes are watering, but I love it. I love it. I'm going to go get a tissue. Try this out. Send me pictures, okay? This is awesome. Ah, oh, it's delicious. So many flavors. You got to try it. Come on over here. Quick. One bite. Quick. Mm. Mm. You missed out. Ooh, hot. I'll see you on the next Cooking with Jack. You take care.